All right, well, this morning we started off with a little bit of snowfall. As you see in our tower cam, we saw some of that light. So this was the first round of uh, the storm system that is anticipated to move in. And, well, we're seeing another round as we go into this evening. We're seeing already rainfall, some sleet, some freezing rain. It will transition over to some heavy snow tonight. And also, with the strong winds from the system, we will be monitoring lakeshore flooding and also erosion on the beaches. The snow is going to end later tomorrow afternoon and evening by the time it's all set and done. We do have winter storm warnings in effect and winter weather advisories across all of the NBC 26 viewing area from Washera through Manitowoc counties and south. You are under a winter weather advisory where lesser snowfall totals are expected up to the north from Wapaka through Kiwani County, which includes Green Bay, Brown County and northward towards the Door Peninsula and the Northwoods. You will be under a winter storm warning, which is where we're expecting higher snowfall accumulations. We have a mixed batch of precipitation right now, rain, sleet, snow up towards the north. Temperatures have been hovering in the lower to mid 30s during the afternoon, but it's going to get its act together later tonight, and I'm thinking a change over to snow between about 9 to 11 o'clock. We even have some higher totals blizzard warnings in northeast Minnesota, Duluth, the North Shore. They're seeing heavy snow right now. And look at this massive swirling rotation across the entire Midwest and the northern plains from that powerful low pressure system, which is right here near Omaha, Nebraska. A very slow moving storm system that's going to track right along the Interstate 80 corridor. And all this moisture is being transported from the Gulf of Mexico. And that's why we are going to be seeing some pretty high snowfall totals. As the low pressure moves towards Illinois tonight and temperatures as the sun sets, we are going to be seeing temps cool off just enough to transition this wintry mix to snowfall tonight. And it will remain under snow all the way into the dawn hours tomorrow, into the afternoon, into the evening. And by late tomorrow night, that's when the snow will exit the area and we will start to see some clearing skies on the backside of the system. So here's a closer look. 730. Temperatures in the lower to mid 30s, wintry mix, rainfall down to the south, snowfall up to the north. Then as we get to 1030, look how quickly it transitions over from a wintry mix to snowfall. Temperatures hovering right along that freezing mark, but up aloft in the higher levels of the atmosphere, it's supporting that snowfall. And if it comes down at a pretty heavy clip, that's going to drop these temperatures at or below freezing, which will help with the accumulation at the surface. That continues all the way into the morning hours tomorrow, 4 o'clock, still right around the freezing mark. But the temperatures will drop down into the 20s by the afternoon hours tomorrow as the storm starts to wind down. But still, scattered to moderate snow showers continuing into the afternoon. It's going to be a pretty much good chunk of the day tomorrow. So if you did do some grocery shopping yesterday, probably hopefully you have enough food to carry over into tomorrow because it's not going to be too pleasant to be on the roads. It's going to be a sloppy mess, probably partially to completely snow covered roads. By Monday morning, I think the road crews will start to get its act together and kind of clean most of those primary roads. By the time it's all done, 10 to 15 inches of snow along and north of Green Bay, Green Bay, Appleton, Wapaka, Kiwani, just north of Manitowoc. I'm going about 6 to 10 inches of snowfall. And then farther to the south, we're going about 3 to 6 inches of snow for Fond du Lac and Sheboygan counties and also those locations. Here are the strong winds. We are going to be seeing lakeshore flood warnings in effect until tomorrow because all these powerful winds out of the east and northeast will pile up that water along the shoreline, causing flooding and also erosion into parts of shoreline counties all the way up into the UP of Michigan. A very powerful system, and that's what we're going to be dealing with. 35 right now, winds out of the east. It feels like 26 outside. We are seeing temperatures pretty much in the lower to mid 30s all across our area. 31 right now in Mountain, 30 in Anago, so they're seeing some sticking snow. Winds steady out of the east, about 15 to 25 miles per hour, and it will remain breezy tonight. 31 for an overnight low temperature. Northeast winds 15 to 20, gusts near 25. Tomorrow we'll see highs getting back into the lower 30s right along the freezing mark. 33 gusts near 35 miles per hour. Northeast winds 15 to 25. We remain dry afterwards, so the worst of the weather will be done by tomorrow evening and then remaining dry upper 20s, low 30s into next week. So it's going to wind down tomorrow night, so no need to maybe go to Costco, get bulk food or something like that. Oh, do, do it on Monday. <laughs> do it on Monday? Yeah. All right, we'll drive safe.